It's really big for me, you know? So thank you very much. LSS for sending me this outsider box. It's an amazing honor for me to open those cards. And we hope we get something sweet. We also have some unspoiled cards. Some cards that we didn't see yet. So hopefully we will open some. All right, one minute left. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, where's my camera? Here we go. Much better. Haha, <laughs> 6 a.m. All right. First, let's see how the booster looks like. Outsiders. This is Riptide, by the way. On this, uh, on this booster. Let's open it up. Oh, come on. Alright, so what is the order of cards? We have Token on the top. Let's see. Arachne. The new version of this hero that was released in the last expansion. We have... Ah! Already! The Crow's Nest. I know it's a token, but I'm very excited because this is a new new uh, type of cards, which is a quiver for the ranger. In this case, Azalea. And this is very playable. Um, oh, wait. Oh, okay. Alright, so the... Okay, so the tokens... All right, right. There are two, two, uh, two sided. They are in the back. Okay, here we have. All right, let's check it out. So we have common prowl, twin sisters. This is a reprint. Feisty locals. Wait, did we see this card? I don't think we did. If this is defended by an action card, this has plus two. So it's a zero for four with two defense. I don't think we've seen this card. 16 cards in a pack, by the way, and 24 booster packs in a box. I'm gonna put this aside because I think we didn't have this spoiled. So we're gonna put this aside here. Um, we have Infecting Shot with the Blood Rot Pox for the Ranger, which I very much like. I think it's one of the best arrows uh, that you can just insta put in almost every single Ranger and expect it will do work. Peace of Mind. Is the prevent the this is a version that has uh, like two two artworks and there's a promo as well. Three wheeling renegades. If this is defended by an action card, this is minus two attack. So this is very similar to what we just opened. Yeah, this is not we didn't see this card before. So essentially, they have like a uh, similar approach here. One gets plus two attack if it's defended by an action card, and the other one is minus two when it's defended by an action card, and they are. Uh, they are different by cost and pitch. One is blue, one is yellow. Pretty decent approach, actually. Because, um... I feel like for draft, the blue one will be more important. But for CC, I don't think there will be that much playable. But those are new. We didn't see those before. Spire Sniping is the arrow that we've seen before as well. It was spoiled. Descendant Gust Wave, the same. Oh, Revenant Zabble has a reprint here. Look at that. That's a card from what? Um, Double Tier, I think? Seeker's Hood. This is to prevent damage and give opt. We've also seen that one. We have Short and Sharp. We've also seen this one spoiled for daggers. Toxicity! Oh, man. I cannot wait to open a foil of this one. Right? I cannot wait for to get a foil of this. So hopefully we get one in this box. It's gonna look awesome. And a very playable card, by the way. Infectious host. host. Wait, that's a new one. When this attacks a hero, if you control a frailty token, create a frailty token under their control, then repeat for inertia and blood root box. Oh! So we're infecting the other player if he, in, if he put a token on us. Ah, uh, Ravenous Rebel is from Arcane. Ah, thank you, Manga Turtle. Whoa, this is actually, this is for zero. So, yellow pitch zero. I mean, it's not, I, I, it's very hard to judge for me right now, because that really depends how many characters will actually use those tokens in the first place. This is definitely better for limited than CC. But it depends on the CC meta. It's going to be interesting. Lace with Frailty. This is our new cards we're going to put outside here. Those are the new cards that we didn't have spoiled. And 
Lace with Frailty is our foil. And it's... Okay, so it's the last card behind tokens in the booster. So it seems different than the previous ones. Very nice foil. Rare foil in the first booster pack. All right, we're going to put this aside over here. To tokens and commons over here. New cards here. Second booster pack. Oh, this is going to take a while. I'm sorry, my friends. <laughs> Okay, it's not that easy to open the booster box, I guess. Kodachi! So, tokens in the back. Kodachi, Bloodrot Pox, Arachni, Uzuri. And we go again. Skybond Shot. That's also a new one that I didn't see before. If Skybond Shot has an aim counter, it has plus one. It's a blue one, so I'm assuming there's a yellow with four attack and a red one with five attack. And it has one cost. Alright, it's a very standard arrow. That's a new one. Back heel kick, we already have seen. In fact, that's also a new one. Assassin action attack. When this hits a hero, create a Bloodroot Pox under their control. Bloodroot Pox is actually pretty nasty because it's at the beginning of your end phase, you have, to, like, this is a token that you give to your opponents, right? So at the beginning of your end phase, destroy Bloodroot Pox, then it deals two damage to you unless you pay three mana. Three mana is pretty. Like, that's that's a lot. That's one blue card. So I would say that this is this is pretty pretty nasty. And in fact, although it doesn't have a breakpoint with a free attack, it's still pretty pretty nice. Alright. Uh, peace of mind, we already have seen it. Mork my grapnel, we already have seen as well. Prowl, already seen as well. Surgeon Strike, the reprint of the very common staple for Katsus. Red version of Free Willing Renegades. Six attack, right? We have seen the blue one with four. So I'm assuming the feisty locals will also have different versions. Cut down to size where they have seen. Fleet Foot Sandals. New one? Destroy Fleet Foot Sandals. Target attack with one or less best gains go, at, uh, gains go again. Attack attack with one or less base attack gains go again. As an attack reaction. How does that make... Uh, okay, so this is like a strictly worse snap scalers, I think. Right? If I'm not mistaken. I don't have to check. Anyway, but we're going to put it aside. I don't have that great of a memory for every single card in Flesh and Blood, unfortunately. Humble, where you have seen. Spinning wheel kick, we already have seen as well. And a foil of Bonds of Ancestry. Another foil rare. Very nicely looking. And also, insanely powerful card, by the way. For Katsus, I feel like this is a new... New card that will be, will be finding place in almost every single deck. It's absolutely demonic in the Valley Town, you know? Okay, foil goes here. Token, token, spider's bite, inertia. Alright, set date. Wait, that's a new one. I think. When this hits a hero, create an inertia token under, con under their control. I mean, the, you're gonna have like three attacks like this, right? One for inertia, one for pox, and one for frailty. Essentially. Alright. Uh, then we have Seek Horizon. I think that's also a new one. As an additional cost to play Seek Horizon, you may put a card from your hand on top of a deck. When you do, Seek Horizon gains go again. No, actually we have. I think we, it was on spoiler. Uh, okay. One to punch what I've seen yesterday. Withering Shot. Razor's Edge, already have seen that as well, but I can't, I didn't remember that book. But I was like, oh, new one! No, never mind, we already have seen it. Come to Fight, also reprint. Almost certain this is from Arcane. Brush Off, okay, that's a new one. So we have... The next time you would be dealt one damage this turn, prevent it. 
is a generic instant and I'm assuming there's gonna be a yellow and red version of it as well and it will prevent two or three hmm for zero so the red version will be essentially I mean assume, assuming with there's gonna be a red version it's gonna be like three block but better I would say I mean, not in every case, but preventing three wood before zero would be pretty nice, right? We'll see. We'll see if there's going to be a red version of, of Brush Off. We'll see. Uh, all right. Skybound sh shots, we already have seen the different version, Deadly Duo as well. Hello, Buddha. Oh, new one. Fist Cuffs. Destroy fist cuffs for two mana in an attack reaction. Target attack action card gains plus one. All right. Pretty normal stuff. Frailty trap, what they have seen yesterday as well. Backstab, what they have seen as well. Boulder trap, the trap for rangers. And brush off in a blue version, but in a foil. We are able to show. Wait, I'm going to put this aside. We're going to be able to show the difference between a non-foil and a foil next to each other. This one doesn't have that much foiling on it. It's more like accented. You have the foil on the shurikens. You see? And on the cloth, a little bit of it. Pretty nice. Okay. Ponder token, crow's nest. All right. Oh, I don't think we've seen this one. Damage that would be dealt by my line can be prevented, and it's a blue version for one damage. Okay, so if red one has three attacks. Okili dokili. Now we have Be Like Water, where I've seen this one, R Rubble, Isolate, uh, no, we already seen this one, uh, Skybound sh Shot, Peace of Mind, Freewheeling, Renegade, Surgeon Strike, Spire Sniping, so all of, of that we have seen already, Mask of Malicious Manifestations, the new Assassin Ranger equipment, for Ranger, I don't think you will ever use this outside of Limited, but for for ninjas, for assassins, sorry. Actually, for assassins, I have no clue. For ninjas, it could have been maybe used. Recoil. Spinning wheel kick. kick. Where do I put my rares here? Give and take. Oh, a foil majestic. All right, my friends, who says first in chat? Wah! Rainbow full majestic gets a sub. Give and take. Very nice foil. Super accented, by the way. I'm not sure if you guys can see this on, on the camera. I'm like looking at the camera, but I'm not certain if you guys can appreciate the foiling that I see in front of my eyes. Like, it, it looks way better in real life than on the camera. I'll be honest with you. Very nice foil. And a very playable card, I would say. Very nice. All right, we're going to put this aside as this is a foil majestic. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you a sub here. But you guys are like, you, 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 you split, <laughs> you split, you split the reaction between Clever Sided and Mango Turtle. I'm going to give you both a sub. Here we go. Shock Dirt. <laughs> ah, open this. Take flight. Take flight. All right, Arachne, Uzuri, Benji, and Katsu. Benji and Katsu on one card. Let's go. Cut down to size. Uh, we already have seen many times. Oh, destructive deliberation. 
When this hits a hero, create a ponder token. Okay. So it's a 5 attack red as well. Mm -hmm. Surging strike, raises edge, free willing renegades, sedation shot, so all, all of those cards we already know. Scout the periphery, I've seen was spoiled today in the night when I was... Uh, when I was uh, sleeping. Widowmaker, the kind of worst headshot, I would say, but unfortunately has such a beautiful artwork. Unfortunate. Alright, Mask of Many Faces, very awesome artwork. This is very awesome artwork. Blood Rot Trap, Toxicity, without foil. Fetch a Blue Tail. And Plunge. Oh, okay, that's a new one. It's a common. When this hits, your next dagger attack this turn and gains plus one. But this has two attack as a yellow, three attack as a red. For ninja, I guess this would be playable. Less for assassin, I guess. Hard to judge from here right now. But yeah, pretty nice card. Any big cards? No, it would just open like four booster four boosters. Okay, opening those booster boxes, uh, boosters, packs, is not as easy as the previous ones, though. Or I am just really bad at opening Azalea and Riptide, Spider's Bite and Frailty. Alright, Springload. That's a new one. When this attacks, you have no cards in hand and gains plus three. So it's one mana for five, which is pretty good rate for a generic. But it has two defense... I don't think it's for CC, but for limited, pretty awesome. Alright. Uh, mal uh, that's a new one, so we're gonna put it here. Boop. Malign. Rubble. Inf infecting shot. Black heel kick. Isolate. Brush off. Widowmaker. Surging strike. Seeker's Gillette, so that's the, the one that prevents and gets opt. The cycle of those equipments is in this in this in, uh, in this expansion. Then we have Bond of Ancestry in the red version, but no foil. Wreck Havoc, the Ghetto Command and Conquer. If you don't have those, this is going to be a very cheap replacement for your deck, although definitely weaker. And Falcon Wing. Did I see this one? I don't think so. If Falcon has an aim counter and has plus one attack, go again. Oh, okay. Very... Dude, foiling is awesome. You seeing this? It really looks awesome. Right? Very nice foiling. I'm wondering. Like, this might be actually... Like, I was Fiora crafting Riptide yesterday. There's gonna be, like, a million ways of building him. But I was Fiora crafting, like, can you actually play Riptide with, like, minimal amount of traps and, like, go wide strategy because of his hero power, like, when you just put cards into the arsenal for free? But we'll see. Hey, Geronimo, how are you doing? So, Spider's Bite and Inertia, Azalea, and Riptide. And we go again. Back heel kick, what they have seen. Feisty locals as well. Come to fight as well. Skybound shot. Spring load, nothing new. In fact, withering shot. Ravenous rubble. Deadly duo. Silken, Silken G. The next attack action card you play this turn has minus one attack and costs one less to play. Oh, okay. Is this better than this um, one-time tunic that it can destroy to get one uh, one mana, one resource, sorry? It nerfs your card. That, that, interesting card. All right. Okay, let's put it aside. All right, plunge. Uh, whoop. Hurl. Okay, that, this card, I think this card is awesome, by the way. As an additional cost to play Hurl, you may pay one. When you do, it gains when this hits, attack, when this attack hits, target dagger, control this one damage target here. If, the, if damage is dealt this way, the dagger has hit, destroy the dagger. I think the, the 
curling the daggers is gonna be pretty fucking awful for the opponents, by the way. Like, they're gonna hate it. It's like, if you play against Kodachi Kodachi, you're locked at 3 HP, essentially. Alright, we have the same, we can compare it. Wait, let me open just this first. Virul virulent touch. In a foiling. Look, look, at, look at the hands. Look. The foil blood pox. Look. <laughs> also, why on earth... What's the name of this rapper that looks exactly like this one? I can't remember his name. Like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of him. So, it's like, oh my god, it's, he's so similar on this artwork. <laughs> um, but here we can compare the foil and non-foil of give and take. Pretty nice. Yeah, there's a foil in each booster pack, but it's they're typically uh they're typically um just uh commons, you know? Typically you also have like one majestic foil uh in in in, in each box and like three rares foils and then the rest is commons. Post Malone, yes, that's that's the one. That's the guy that I was thinking about. That's the one. Wait, I'm gonna self-promo myself on Discord. One moment. Alright, we have Scout the Periphery, Twin Sisters, Peace of Mind, Watering Shot, Seek Horizon, Wither for Frailty, 1 2 Punch, Merkmire Grapnel, Send and Gust Wave, Seeker's Leggings, Plunge, Bleed Out, as the rare infiltrate another majestic for assassins that we have seen before. Peace of mind and foiling. Bob. Alright, oh, tokens didn't put them aside. Alright. You got any Riptide cards yet? Uh, nothing specific apart from commons. All right, so tokens cracked bubble. Yes, let's go. Oh, that's not CF. I mean, oh and oh, <laughs> we got a cold foil common. So that means that we are most likely not opening any kind of cold foil legendaries, unfortunately, in this box. Very nice foil. It's so hard to capture on camera, man. It's a fantastic artwork. But it's so it's so hard to show it on camera without like fully being you know like reflecting a mask of many faces. Hey Clara, do you fall out of bed? I I, I had no idea that five AM exists. Anyway, we got the cold foil out of the box. So we're gonna put this aside over here. Could have been a could have been a majestic maybe or maybe a, 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 a you know a legendary. All right, malign face the locals got periphery sedation short razors edge nothing new here. I think we can just skip through most of the comments right now because I think we have seen everything so far. Wreck havoc in the yellow version, lace of frailty and foil of backstab. Damn. Damn, that blood looks awesome in the foiling. Rip. Revenant's Rubble. Online, let's see. 
And I'm gonna just go through the comments in case we didn't see anything, but I think we have seen everything. Frailty trap, bleed out, fetch a yellowtail, prowl in common foil. Yeah, I think so far every single foil that I've seen has a better standard than in the previous expansions, I'll be honest with you. Are traps considered defense reactions? Yes, that is correct. Brush of nothing new. Pendulum trap. Why am I like flipping it? It's not a foil. I'm stupid. <laughs> Sc oh, wait, this is a rare as well. Let's put it aside here. Scout the periphery, let's go. Why is let's go? I don't know, I just said it because I said it. No, that's impressive foiling because the card is very dark, so the foil is not striking that much in person. Do you sleeve any of the cards? Like, put them in those plastic wrap... Oh, yes, of course. Like, uh, you want to sleeve them to not get this... To not get them, like, you know, bent or cracked or anything, you know? Or, or scratched as well. All right, comments. Let's go through them quickly because I think, as I said before, we have all of them already. That's a nice artwork. It didn't look that nice in uh, in the spoiler. I'll be honest with you. Virulent touch, backstab, lace with inertia. Humble in foil. That's a rare foil. It's like a ghetto uh, erased face, I guess. Collapsing trap would be nice, Paul. I agree. Alright, let's go. Nothing new over here. Blood Road Trap, Fetch a Red Tail. Uh, one for four, plus four for the next arrow attack. The red cards have minus one defending this. I mean, this should be playable in CC. Should be. It's very good against aggro decks, I guess. Looking for Scrapper, we've seen as well. Descendant Gust Wave Foil. Man, again, like the foils of very dark artwork is not as striking as it would be like on a, on a more bright eye artwork, but it still looks nice. But it's not as striking as the as the um, bright artworks. I hope this set is great for draft. So, um. I actually, I have to confess, I never played a draft of Flesh and Blood yet. Somehow there was no, no occasion yet. So, looking forward to this one. We don't make a head job, seek horizon, sedate, broop, 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 broop. Nothing new here. Wait, Thunder's Crest. If you're a ranger and you're cold, this is what you were. Inertia Trap, Death Touch. First one in this box. Very playable hand by uh, card, by the way, for Riptide. Like this is gonna be the one that will make your opponent squirm. Like it cannot be played from hand, and we were like thinking, my god, this is gonna be so hard to play, right? And then it turns out Riptide has reload mechanic built in into his own character. So this is actually pretty nasty. One for six, and it gives you a token of the or, or, of frailty inertia or blood root pox. So this is this is a pretty nasty card. What is a cold foil in back? Let me show it. Unfortunately, it's a common. It's a mask of many faces. It's a very nice artwork, but you know, I was hoping for maybe, maybe something more pork champ. Spinning wheel kick. 
And we have a rainbow foil of Seeker's Hood. The generic uh, equipment. All right. Infecting shot. Cut down in size of the door skybound shot. Nothing new from the commons, so we're gonna skip through them. Blade cuff, short and sharp. Looking for scrap. Bonds of ancestry. Brush off in foil, the red version that prevents three. So I, 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 it's very hard for me to judge, like, you know, the, the flesh and blood cards out of, like, any kind of uh, context, but I think this should be playable. The next time it will be dealt three or less damage to send prevented. Like, this is not bad, right? As an instant, for zero. It's like a different kind of def defense reaction. All right. Nothing new here. Boop. Hurl and uh, blue version. Dude, the blue, the blue stripe fits so well to the artwork. Infectious host in the blue version. Cut down to size in the foiling. Probably the weakest foiling that I have seen in the card so far in this in this expansion. But no biggie, it's just a common. Fun fact, Inuit people on the engineering of cooking have been proven to be the warmest, most effective, which I think is what Ranger cards was based off. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Withering shot art. Nothing new over here. We've seen all of those already. Mask of shifting perspectives. Wait, did we see this? Whenever a dagger hits the scene, we put a card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. If you do, draw a card. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Okay, never mind. Assassin Ninja equipment. But I can't remember. I couldn't remember the artwork. Virulent touch, sneak attack. Wait. If you play, if you've played or activated an attack reaction, this chain link sneak attack has plus four. I don't think I've seen this one before. It's actually pretty sick. Plus six. Uh, that's six attack for two, which is, I mean, that's mathematically like okay, but for a yellow, so for a red that would have been seven for two, which is good. And if you pitch a blue, you still have one left for a reaction. So that's actually a pretty sick card, right? For assassins. I don't. I don't really play assassin, but this seems pretty okay. Melting point. Yeah, let's go a maj majestic for ranger for my class. I play Lexi a lot. Your next arrow this turn gets plus four. If, a, if it has an aim counter, it gains. When this hits a hero, destroy a one handed weapon they control with, with one attack base. So against daggers, essentially. All right. Majestic goes here. And three willing renegades. Another one that has like a very dark artwork. And it looks probably sick on camera, but not as good in real life, which is funny as hell, because you guys like the, mo the most that I said looks the weakest, right? <laughs> okay. Wittering shot. Rup, rup. Come on, we can still get like a rainbow foil legendary in this box. Let's go. Spike with inertia. Assassin's attack reaction. Cards with stealth, card with stealth gains plus three. And when this is hero, it creates an inertia. 
Cyclone Roadhouse. Roadhouse. If you watch Family Guy. Very nice artwork. Oh, this has to be looking... This has to look awesome in foiling, by the way. Short and sharp in foiling. Wounded Bull is 8 for free in this, in this island. Um, now, if... I mean, as I said, I'm not an assassin expert, so... Oh my god, opening this booster pack. I don't know if it's 7 for 2 and requiring a reaction, right? Attack reaction to be played or activated makes sense for assassin, but it's a big number, so maybe... Nothing new from the head jabs. Let's go. <laughs> Short and sharp. Hurl in the blue in yellow version. Bonds of ancestry in blue. Deadly duo in foiling. Now this is a nice foil. The blue and the greens are contrasting really nice on it. Very nice. I'll be honest with you, I feel handicapped when it comes to opening those booster packs. Ow! Hit my microphone as well. Alright, nothing new from the commons. Mask of many faces, blood root trap, death touch, let's go! But no foil. Dude, foil death touch will probably be... For like, you know, rares in this blood... Uh, in, in flesh and blood... The rares are very, very cheap. Are essentially like kind of like uncommons. But I think some of the foil rares, like for example, red death touch, they should be worth quite a while. Quite a, quite much, I mean. Sneak attack in blue version. It's good in constructed, probably hard to do in limited. Uh you mean sneak attack, right? Cusco? Yeah, I think so as well. Sedation shot in Foil. So, again, a dark artwork looks just so bad in real life when it comes to foiling. Like, you can't really do much because it, it, the card is so dark in, in the first place. So you would have to, like, I don't know. How do you make even the foiling better on a dark artwork? Hard to say. And whenever you have, like, a foil, foil version of a card, the artwork gets darker just by adding the foiling to it. So if it's a dark artwork and it gets foiled, then it's even, like, getting worse visibility than this. That's why I prefer the, the light cards. Dude, I'll be honest with you, those look awesome next to each other. Look at this. Look how nice this looks. That's awesome. Although I don't think you're gonna be playing Driftwood Quiver for Riptide. Still gonna go for the legendary one, right? I think. All right. Inertia trap, blue death touch, humble. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go. Foil Amplifying Arrow. I'm very happy because I play Lexi a lot. And this is a instant slot into Lexi, I think. And it's a foil as well. Very nice card. And the foiling looks awesome on it. Because of the bright colors. This is really cool. Wait, this is a second... Second majestic, second uh, rainbow four majestic that we got in this box. Interesting. All right, we have three boosters left, and that's gonna be it.
Toxic Tips. Did we see this before? The next attack action card is symbol and this hits a hero creative variety token. Oh, okay. Virulent Touch Toxicity in yellow. Backstab Infecting Shot. Oh my god, this, this foiling looks awesome in real life. I'm gonna try to capture... See, see this? It looks very similar in real life. This looks awesome. It, it looks so veiny, you know? It's like... Kinda disgusting. Very nice foil. All right. Toxicity in red. Spinning wheel kick. And sedate in a foil. Also a pretty, pretty foil. Has a lot of accents, as you can see. Okay. And the last booster pack. Are these glow in the dark cards? Nah, unfortunately not. <laughs> game is called Flesh and Blood. It's a collectible card game by Legend Story Studio from New Zealand. It's like the ninth or tenth. I actually didn't check. Ninth or tenth expansion. It's like a when 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 I have to explain someone what kind of game is this. This is like, imagine it's a Mortal Kombat in card game fantasy world where people are fighting against each other. You have one hero and a deck that represents attack spells and like equipment and so on. And you just fight against each other. I feel like Mortal Kombat actually fits the description pretty well, you know? Because the game is pretty bloody. What do the colors mean? So cards have like different colors. Essentially... Um, wait, let me, let me show it in a moment. I'm gonna, let me just open this last booster pack and I'm gonna explain it to you. Sneak attack. Oh wait, that's not rare. And bleed out, and that's about it. Two Kodachis at the end. Bleed out as a rare foil. And two rares. So essentially, let me explain, um, let me find like different uh different types of comments of the same card so i can compare it to you so essentially let's maybe take an arrow or something oh here we go so there are three colors blue yellow and red and essentially what they achieve is they have uh, the same cost because each card has a cost right and that cost is in the right corner. So it costs one resource. But then you have different stripes, because there's red, blue, uh, sorry, red, yellow, and also blue, which represents the power level of the same card. Because, for example, this one has five attack. The red ones are the most powerful when it comes to raw power. So, and then the yellow version has four, right? But in this game, you don't have, like, if you played Magic the Gathering, for example, you have lands to pay for to pay the mana for the cards. In this game, you pitch one of those cards that you have in your hand to pay for the other ones. And the color also represents how much pitch you have. So if you use this card to pay for another card, you get one resource. But if you pitch the yellow one, it gives you two resources. So it gives you more mana, quote unquote, because it's weaker as a card itself. Right? And then also each card has a, I mean, not each card, but most of the cards have also a defense value when you block with them. Because you can block an attack with the same card. So each card serves a multi-purpose. Essentially, you can attack with it, you can block with it, but also you can use it for mana. Right? So this is why you have like three different versions of one card, typically, unless they're like Majestics or something, which are rarer. So it's like... You, can, you are very flexible in a way you can play the game, which is pretty awesome and why Flesh and Blood is very complicated, 
uh, but exciting to play because every turn you have so many options, you know? A fighting card game, uh, a fighting game as a card game is a great way to put it. I'm calling it, from now on, I'm just calling it Mortal Kombat, you know, in fantasy original IP. I never played the Dragon Ball card games. So I, I cannot make a comparison, but uh, the biggest the biggest selling point for me when it comes to Flesh and Blood is this mechanic that you are able to be flexible with every card with every card in your hand. Because the main reason why I quit Magic years ago is because of the archaic land system, and in Flesh and Blood you don't have that. So I feel like whenever I play Flesh and Blood. Unless, uh, you know, I chose, unfortunately, a ranger. So if you play Flesh and Blood, you know what I'm going to be talking about. But it feels like when you play Flesh and Blood, every game is a game you can turn around if you know what you're doing. While in Magic, like, whenever I've played Magic, I felt like 30% of my games were no games, which means either I or my opponent had really bad luck when it comes to either drafting uh, getting too many lands or not enough lands and the games were just basically a waste of time you know but yeah uh game is awesome thank you again huge thanks to legend story studio for providing me with the box of outsiders this is a huge honor for me uh that i was able to open this uh in front of an audience so thank you very much for tuning in at this ungodly hour by the way 6 46 a.m that's kind of crazy for me um so wait let me check something how many majestics did i get in this box because i think i only got six wait i got four non-foils here And then we got two foils, so that's six. Did I miss any? Let me quickly check. In the foils, we don't have a single M anymore. No. And then here... Did they change the number of Majestics in each box? Because six is very low. Yeah, I think I think I didn't miss any majestics. So I only opened six. Typically, in previous boxes, uh, in in previous in previous expansions, yeah, I I definitely didn't mix up a majestic. Yeah, I, I, let's just assume I got only six majestics in this box, which is very interesting because. Typically, you were getting between 8 to, like, 7 to 10. 6 is very low. Interesting. <laughs>